Hey, what's up? It's Jason with Orion Training Group, and we're back at FRC and uh, their indoor shoot house, which is a fantastic facility. If you're in the Baton Rouge area, come check it out. Uh, what we're going to work on next is a pan technique around a doorway and door uh, threshold evaluation. So, as part of the pan technique, again, getting yourself set up for proper room entry, right? We want to get our feet set up. And I'm going to show you this with footwork first, get the foot set up so I'm able to see what's going on in that deep corner on the far right side, right? Notice that I'm looking on this apex uh, from here, right, deep into that side, and then as I start to pan over, I will collapse from that door frame over to this door frame, working on a new apex of that doorway, right? First thing I want to do is when I get ready to move, I'm going to orient my body this direction, right? Keeping my muzzle and everything pointed in the direction of the threat or the possible threat so through that threshold. So I'm take my feet, just kind of point them that direction and notice my hips and everything start to open up and it's gonna change the direction. But I'm gonna rotate like a tank does, my tracks are going this direction and the turret is gonna move over to the left-hand side as I start to gather information on that, uh, that doorway. So when I'm ready to move, I can look as far as I want to. Once I get in a position, I can turn and then start to move that direction while collapsing that sector of fire to get set up on this side. Now I noticed my movement was real slow. I didn't get into a rush. I simply just moved from point A to point B in a very controlled manner, keeping the gun on an even plane and then looking over the top of the sights while I execute that pop and pan technique. So uh, once I see that there's, uh, there's nothing gonna inhibit my flow into that room, I get myself set up for proper room entry, looking deep, right? There's no other work to be found, and then I'm ready to make entry. Simple as that. Let's try running from the other side. From here to there? Yep. Okay, right side. All right, so uh, we went from left to right. Now we're gonna move from the right side to the left side in a pan technique. So again, I'm gonna get myself set up for my footwork, looking deep as I possibly can through this threshold. Um, notice that I'm looking here on that door frame on the left-hand side, and as I start to move, I'm gonna <clears throat> orient my hips and foot placement that direction, right? Move that way while keeping my muzzle and everything oriented towards the, the doorway or the threshold, right? Once I get set, I get my footwork. See, notice my toes are now pointing that way, and I just start to walk over and I collapse and get set up over here, right? So I went from this door frame on the left side as I panned across, collapsing that sector of fire, looking over to the right-hand side. I notice you, you saw my body kind of get a little bit more torqued, if you will, moving from one direction. It's because I'm a right-handed shooter, the gun stays on my right shoulder, and it takes a little bit of control to move from that side to over here. But it's easily managed, and you can do these things in your house. Okay, so there's a doorknob in there, B. You see that? Come over here where you can see it. What you're gonna do is, as you do your pan, you're gonna engage that with your mana system. And for those of you who are watching, notice how as he moves, he is moving at the speed he can process, is what Jason started off saying. And as he's engaging, he's engaging on the move with relative accuracy, right? So go ahead and demo that for us, Pete. He's able to get, you know, three shots off move pretty rapidly. Um, one of the questions that comes up a lot on this technique is, well, do I shoot while I'm moving or do I stop? So if I was going to stop and do it, I'm starting here, checking that deep corner like Jason was talking about, and I'm orienting my hips and starting to move, and I see that and I, I stop here. Well, if we're in a team environment, I stop momentum. There's people behind me that want to get into the fight. Um, and also, I'm staying in this threshold, right? I'm silhouetted in it. What do we talk about if you've watched our Pine video that came before this? Moving at the speed you can process really slowly means you need to reduce your exposure. Well, if you're speeding that up a little bit, and you stop in the middle of the doorway, you've maximized your exposure, right? I'm completely silhouetted. So it's okay to shoot on the move. Sometimes you'll do what they call bailing to the far side. Give me a little room there, Mitch. If I start shooting here and I have teammates with me, let's say Jason's right behind me, what can he do? He can pie out a little bit and now he owns what I gave up. That doorknob, who's our enemy, has been covered now. We wouldn't want to give that up. And now I'm on this side of the door checking my other deep corner. So in a team environment, because I know the question was going to come with a pan, it is okay to shoot on the move and it's okay to give up what you've got if someone else can pick it up for you. So what is our mission? What's our manpower? What's our environment is going to drive those choices. There's not an always, you shouldn't always rush into the room. Uh, you shouldn't always bail to the far side. There's a lot of options that we want to teach you in flexible search. So if you guys are able to come to a class, see this force on force 
see it in person, kind of put some of those pieces together. So check out the website, oriontraininggroup.com. Uh, go back and watch some of our other videos for more knowledge on this kind of thing. Cool? Going, let's plan to have Brennan jump in and we'll, we'll talk what's we'll like. Look at his little fucking Asian feet, you know. Doesn't work exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a spring roll. You massage my back so good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck, man. Can't take nobody nowhere. Uh, his carrier full of bok choy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what that oh, is. Oh, okay. Uh, mm.